view from anterolateral portal and probe from anteromedial portal shows intact but bulky posterior horn of medial meniscus. A small meniscus punch is used to trim the innermost layer of the posterior horn of medial meniscus which again shows an intact but bulky posterior horn of medial meniscus. A probe is then used. It just goes smoothly between the two layers of the meniscus as if the door is opening with the help of a probe. So it's an intrameniscal cyst without any meniscal tear. Rare to see this. Now a meniscus punch is again used to increase the mouth of the tear till its posterior aspect or the posterior part of the intrameniscal cyst thereby creating a sort of horizontal tear in the posterior horn of medial meniscus. A shaver blade is then used to debride the bad, loose and unhealthy intrameniscal tissue but it's in a non-suction mode when the shaver blade is intrasubstance between the two layers of the meniscus to avoid injury to the meniscal tissue. Rasp is used again to debride the intrameniscal tissue to enhance the healing potential of the meniscus. Once you finish the rasp, you see now it's a horizontal tear like an open book in the posterior horn of medial meniscus. 18 number spinal needle is used to make multiple puncture in the capsule to create vascularity for meniscal healing. Finally, a fibrin clot is inserted through anteromedial portal between the superior and the inferior layer of the meniscus like a sandwich technique. And now we need to close the mouth of this posterior horn of medial meniscus which is done with the help of knee scorpion using three bites from posterior to anterior aspect. So this is called as open and closed door repair technique for intrameniscal cyst in the posterior horn of medial meniscus.